Hello and good afternoon. This is Ute from Ute Silverbridge Corner. And before I started, would you please like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate it. Thank you. Today, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about depression. You don't talk about depression, or do you? Mental illness are still associated with hmm, many negative thoughts um, and they are socially taboo topic. So in other words, nobody would say, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm not feeling good. I have depression. No, this is a no, no. I don't understand why, because there is no reason if you're suffering from depression um, that you have to hide it. Um, it would rather help you to talk about it, to open yourself to a friend, to a family member, or even to a doctor or to your herbalist. If you hide it, you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into your depression. Um, if you go to the doctor, and this is kind of funny if you go to the doctor and tell them, oh, I'm I'm a little bit down. Um, can you help me? And the doctor will give you, and I hope I can put this in, will give you a patient health questionnaire nine. It's called PHQ-9. So you um, will be asked nine different question and this is the result for your doctor to find out if you have depression or not so they are asking just for example let me read it um are you a little interested or pleasure in doing things and then you can answer not at all several days more than half of the day nearly every day the next question is feeling down, depressed or hopeless, or feeling tired, having little energy, poor appetite, um, thoughts that you would better off dead or hurting yourself in some way. I mean, the question are right, but I personally, I don't think this is the right way to find out if you're suffering from depression you need somebody you can talk you don't need a piece of paper and circle around nine questions and then the doctor said oh yeah okay you have depression and this is the uh, medication i can give you and that's it that means he is not going deeper into the reason why you are depressed you know, for me as a master herbalist, I want to know why. I don't want to go ahead and give you some advice from my own experience or from my customer family. Um, you come to me and say, hey, I, I'm feeling down. And I said, oh, yeah, I have something that can cover you. No, you have to find out what's the reason for your depression. What was it triggering? Um, was there any bad experience, you lost a family member, a friend, there is some stress with your, within your family. Um, the, the weather, for example, the winter time, um, on, at work, you know, there are so, so many different um, reasons why you are depressed. And for my feeling, it's not just to cover it, uh, you must know why so may you can go deeper and then you can uh, make a decision what for me what herbal medication would be the right for you as you can see here we have three different tinctures for depression and I have five different pills for depression so and they have they are made out of different herbs so i have them here so for example these are the uh, six herbs i love to 
introduce you to and these are the six herbs I'm using in uh, my in different ways in the tinctures or in the capsules so I'm I'm working with passion flower I'm working with ashwagandha yeah there was yesterday a whole video about ashwagandha I am working with St. John's word I'm also using milky oats and I'm using liquor rice and last but not least I'm using lemon balm so in in my tinctures or in my capsules it always depends on how um, deep you are in your depression or is it just uh, anxiety moment or if you really need um, a heavier herb would could help you with your depression want to start with my depression tincture which is this one here and my depression tincture I made it infused in alcohol um, it's made out of St. John's word passion flower and lemon balm so as I said <clears throat> made out of alcohol so St. John's is known for depression it can help you with anxiety PMS nerve pain shingles and also menopause so all the herbs and you should know this by now have different benefits and it depends on why you are using it so passion flower can help you with your depression anxiety but it could also help you with menopause right so passion flower is the other herb i have in this tincture which is helping with adhd it's generalized anxiety disorder it can also help you and this is again different benefits for the same herb uh, passion flower can also help you with um, insomnia and if you're just nervous the third herb i have in this tincture here show it again in this depression tincture made out of alcohol is lemon balm and lemon pa lemon balm is good for panic attacks down in your mood high blood high blood pressure sorry high blood pressure and it can also help you with the flu so this is the um depression tincture with three uh, different herbs I'm using in there and this one is this one is the benefit I put out for my combination of the three um, herbs is treating mild uh, depression supporting calm and relax relaxation in the nervous system so it's for mild so if you're not really really deep in in your depression so that means if you realize something is not right and you contacted um, for example me as your herbalist and you said it's just a little bit but I need to help my system my body with some herbal tinctures this would be the right one for you then I and this is with alcohol then I have just passion flower just passion flower without alcohol and this is a tincture I yeah as I said before passion flower is supporting relaxing anxiety and panic attacks um, passion flower is again for stress some kind of depression and anxiety because the way from an anxiety into depression is very very yeah it can go from one day to the other it's just an anxiety and then you're getting into the depression and your negative thoughts and all this um, things 
but I have to let you know any medication I have with passion flower in it you cannot take while you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding this is passion flower is an herb would would not um, doing good with you when you are pregnant um, or breastfeeding all right so the next one I have here oh, oopsie <laughs> is lemon balm lemon balm is made out of alcohol or the lemon balm is infused in alcohol um, the benefits from lemon balm is your yeah, lemon balm belongs to the mint family um, it's good for anxiety stress insomnia I'll, it could even help or yeah help you with Al um, Alzheimer's disease it's a relaxing relieving stress improving memory so again it's not such um, a heavy herb that keeps you in a cloud all three of them will not keep you in some kind of a cloud or you have hundreds of side effects like the I call them happy pills when you go to the doctor and he write you prescription for depression I call them happy pills because you are always yeah you are in a cloud that's what I said before on the beginning of the video it's just covering you know it's not really helping it's covering the symptoms of depression so it's the same when you go to the doctor and say for example oh my god my back hurts and tell her and he's giving you some pain medication that you don't feel the pain for your back issue but he's not asking why it could be that you have some nerves um, in your back in your neck hurt it could be that there's something with your shoulder so there are so many things it could um, give you back pain so but covering just with a medication it's not the way an herbalist would do that so my opinion as I said it's always my opinion and the same is with the passion flower uh, with the passion flower and um, all the other three um, tinctures I just offered you it will not cover but it will help me there's also um, thoughts that you want to have a nice reiki session so you are you are relaxing and you enjoying the music and you enjoying the energy i can um share with you with my hands so this would be something you can think about or yoga or uh, tai chi what i'm doing such things that give you some kind of relaxation um, beside the herbs and uh, you are taking to get um, better results for your own health to get rid of the depression so now I have also capsules as you can see well, well, let, let me take this one um, we also have capsules for depression and I have one yep, yep come here it's called passion flower and ashwagandha you remember we had a video about ashwagandha it's one of my uh, favorite herbs um, I have <laughs> so passion flower combined with ashwagandha is really really a helper for um, depression and this combination from passion flower and ashwagandha it's not for um, moderate or low depression it's really if you are a little bit deeper in it it's a capsule therefore you have to take it uh, I would say normally from my experience uh, up to a week or two until your body is re uh, reacting and taking all the benefits from passion flower and ashwagandha um, the other the tinctures as you know in the meantime the tinctures are helping you yeah it's kind of an emergency it's helping you um, yeah for example if you have a panic attack or what and you are in a store and you get out of the blue a panic attack you take the tincture 
under your tongue a zip of water or orange juice or whatever is available for you and it helps you more or less immediately. Um, the passion flower ashwagandha oops, um, pills, as I said, they take longer until the body, your body is taking on all the benefits from passion flower and ashwagandha and you take two times two two times two of these capsules here so then um let me see anything else about passion flower no as i said earlier do not take any herbs or any combination with passion flower when you're pregnant this is a no-no pregnant or breastfeeding no no passion flower all right so passion flower and ashwagandha was the first um, product i have as a capsule then i have as a capsule just let me go and get it just st john's word so st john's word is um good for well, it helps you with anxiety, if you have sleep issues, pain, your heart is going too fast. Um, and again, as I said earlier with the tincture, it's if you have um, menopause issues. All right. So the flowers are, you can use the flowers from Passion Flower, or you can use it dried in as a tincture form or in the capsules in the capsules i put it and i told you this in other videos when i dry my herbs and then i put them in my grinder and then i um pulverize the powder <laughs> i make it out of powder so you can use it um for st john's word which is this one I showed you. Um, there is a study from 2016 with over 35 studies concluded that John, St. John's word reduces symptoms of mild to moderate depression um, more than, than uh, <laughs> in the studies a placebo or similar prescription antidepressant. So there are studies about passion uh, St. John's word and it's um, the results are showing it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful helper. And I have it here as a capsule. So what else? Now I have the mood balance. Uh, this one. Mood balance. Mood balance is a tincture, uh, not a tincture, sorry. Uh, capsules I made for at this time when I created this batch for a customer and she was in mood balance, may you can call it bipolar. Um, she was using so many happy pills from the doctor that she was sick from all the side effects and she was asking if there's any alternative I can create which would help her to get slowly down after she was talking with her doctor from the happy pills. So I made this um, capsule and it's specially for bipolar, depression, PTSD, anxiety. So this is really, really the one when you are totally in it. And bipolar is, um, I have to tell you, from my mother's side, my grandmother, not the one from my father's side, from my mother's side. And she had bipolar and she was exactly it was strange for me as a child to grow up she was exactly six months in a totally happy mood she was um, going out she was working in her garden she she was 
I don't know, she was doing everything. She was cooking and, and, and a normal, I would say a normal person. And exactly six months later, so it was always six months a high and six months a low um, for the bipolar she had. And in the six months, most of the time in the winter time, in the time when everything, when it's getting darker earlier, she was the total opposite. She didn't even cook because she was afraid she has dirty dishes. She didn't, there were days I remember when she didn't even uh, dress up because she don't had the, yeah, she, she said, why should I dress up? I'm going to my bed later on. So, pfft. so it was terrible growing up as a child to see my grandmother from my mother's side having, and at this time I didn't know what's going on, um, had this sickness, this illness with bipolar. She, we call this in, in Germany, manisch depressiv. So it's, as I said, it's an up and a an down. And even with, at this time back, in the 60s. At this time, I remember that she was on medication from the doctor because I was a little, I wasn't the herbalist at this time. So even with the uh, medication she took, she was still in this six month changing mood with her bipolar. So this is just to let you know, I, I grew up with this experience from my grandmother from my mother's side. The other one they was from my father's side. She was totally cool. She teach me all the, th the things about herbs. She teach me card reading and I wouldn't be here where I'm now if I wouldn't have the grandmother from my father's side. This is the positive. And I don't want to say mother's uh, side grandma was a bad experience, but it was sad. So. And this just to explain to you. Um, in my mood balance, to going back to my uh, education here, the mood balance I have here, I made this out of ashwagandha, passion flower, milk oats, and licorice. So this is definitely, as I said, this is the, the strongest one you can take if you are suffering from not just a small depression or mood swing, this is really, really when you are deep into it with bipolar disorder. But this is a pill and you take three times two capsules, three times two capsules from, and I call this mood balance. And again, I repeat myself, Passion flower, you not taking it uh, when you're pregnant or when you're breastfeeding. All right. So let's see. After this, I have, I introduced you to the tincture, passion flower. And I also have just the passion flower as a capsule if you don't want to take the tincture. And last but not least, as I have a video and you can watch the video, Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is um, a beautiful, beautiful root. Um, a deeper video is on our YouTube channel. channel. Um, Ashwagandha is just if you, I say always, if you have a burn down. A burnout so it's not really a depression it's not anxiety it's just a oh, give me a break like this okay so as I said depression uh, I'm here I would definitely listen to you if you just need somebody to talk if you already on depression happy pills from your doctor we can find a way so you can slowly start using or starting in additional using herbs after you contacted your doctor um, that he said, yeah, this is fine with me. Otherwise, um, 
as I said, I have three different tinctures. I have five different capsules, um, herbal based, which could help you and will help you um, with your depression, anxiety, or just the burnout. Otherwise, I can uh, make an appointment. You can make an appointment with me for a Reiki session, which is totally relaxing. And as I said, um, I can share my positive energy into your body, and you feel like yeah, <laughs> like newborn. It could be a little helper um, to get through your depression or your time, you are totally down, all right? And as I said to you the last time, this will be, and it is, <laughs> a long video um, to introduce you with all the beautiful herbs I have here. They could help you with your depression, anxiety, or just the burnout, all right? And I said it on the beginning, Please comment, subscribe or like our YouTube channel and I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. It's sunny outside and it's not raining and it's not snowing. So may you go out for a walk and there are some birds starting singing I heard outside. This is a time who you can yeah, maybe you can get out step by step out of your depression or your mood swings because spring is around the corner and when all the flowers and the trees are starting getting tree, you hear you hear the kids and I can hear them here. You can hear the kids playing outside because it's nice and warm outside and as I said the birds are singing and yeah, it's it's just the season. I don't like winter, but I don't have depression, but I just don't like it. Um, my favorite season is spring, when everything is starting uh, blooming and it's getting green and the smell, the smell is different in spring or in the summertime. Um, yeah, winter is yeah, it's cold, it's dark early, and you do you hardly see any people outside. You don't don't hear kids are playing outside, having fun. So yeah, but it's um, January already, so spring is around the corner. All right, so enough get uh, talk talk, and <laughs> um, now I know you are waiting for it. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, I have to say it. I am a master herbalist. I'm your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor. I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. If you have any question regarding your depression or your mood swings or anything else, um, please contact your doctor. If you want to talk to me, um, shoot me a message on our YouTube channel. Give me a call. Send me an email. I'm here to help you or introduce you to different herbs. I can even specially create for you. Um, if you don't like the taste, for example, from uh, passion flower or from ashwagandha or yeah, we can talk about it and I can definitely create a special batch just for you. All right. So as always, stay healthy, stay warm it's not so cold but yeah i see you soon in my next video i don't know what i'm talking about but it will be a surprise okay so thank you and yeah enjoy the rest of your sunday this was ute from ute sober rich corner bye bye bye